lock and loaded. Let's roll. Well, here we go. We're on a road trip. We just passed Columbus. We're on 71 south of Cincinnati. Um, it was up early. Left like 530. You can see the box of parts back there. But here we go. Stay tuned. Off to meet Tony Bischoff and the guys there. Darren and Preston. I don't know anybody else there. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I also failed to mention that I was going to meet Rusty Glidden there. That'd be pretty cool, meeting him, Darren Morgan. Yeah, look at, there it is, Indy, baby. And now we're in Indiana. Next stop, BS. He's got a cool shop that sits out in the country on a hill. There's Darren Morgan talking with Rusty. Yeah, we're ready. There's the race car sitting over there, and that's a Corvette, isn't it? Yep, it, it, it goes 360s in the eighth. Got right? it. We don't run quarter miles. Got it, okay. The 360s in the eighth is typically, you can go almost usually a tenth faster if you add two seconds to it. Does that make sense? Yep, it does. And it, so it's like 1.9 faster. So it should, it should be able to hit 550s, really. But now when people run a quarter mile, they don't run as hard out back. So it means, I don't know. No, absolutely. Take a look at it. There's Rusty Glidden checking out the car. He's ready to take it for a ride. How many cubic inches? That's a 954, I believe. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. 954 cubic inches? I mean, that just blows me away. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. How big is the bore on that? 5040 on this one. 5040. 5040, yep. Wow, this is amazing. So just run an old turbo 400. Is that what it is? Yeah. They're a strong tranny, that's for sure. They are, yeah. Yep, they're a... Uh, it's, it's a Mark Mickey. They're good for 100 passes without doing anything to them. Are they really? Yeah. Wow. That's only a good quarter, quarter on it right there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we'll stick with this side. Look at that. That's crazy. It's like scary even to think about getting in that. And looking over that, you can't even really see over the hood with that thing on there. Wow. It's well, amazing. That's, that's kind of, you know, that's, we 3 do printed that. Scoop? Hood scoop. Yeah, see, that's what we typically run. And okay. then he had crashed six weeks ago. And part of the reason I crashed, I felt like he couldn't see where he was at on the track. Okay. Because it was a good run. He just didn't realize he was that far out of the groove. So we 3D printed that, and, uh, and it, it looks small, but since you run, you know, all the nitrous we run, they don't run nearly the same amount of air through the motor. Each sure. Each you turn on, less air goes through the motor. Is that what it is? Yes. From the volume, it takes up the volume yes, of the it, air. It, it takes up volume of air. You're pumping nitrous instead of yep. air. So, so anyway, that uh, we, know we measure KPA in the manifold, and without a hood scoop, it'll lose about three or four kPa going down the racetrack. Uh, with the scoop, it picks up three kPa. But that scoop and that hood scoop picked up the same exact amount. And Did it, they really? Though it looks pretty small, but I, I think if he was running NA, you wouldn't see that. I think it'd be a little restricted. But, and he can see way better, so. Uh, Compared to this, this is the yeah. scoop he's talking about. Yeah. We'll look inside there. But yeah, that makes sense with nitrous. You need less air. Exactly, but it still picked up, you know, the same KPA, and it does run a couple mile an hour faster with the hood scoop on it, so it definitely makes a difference. So. That's nice, man. So here we are. Look at that little eye candy. I'll show you a couple dinos here real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you was at my old shop. Wasn't you? I know I've met you before. 
I have missed one. Maybe it's an Edgewater, maybe. Probably Edgewater. Someone's driving. So yeah, here's one of the dining rooms. Got lots of stuff going on. That's where it's set up. He has two dining rooms here. Here's a control panel, just to kind of show you what it looks like. But you have dyno two engines at the same time. Yes. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Get ready for a looks like a small block Chevy to go on the pump. Yeah. Old street motor. There it is. So here's the, another room where they get the engines that are almost ready to go. You can see them all sitting around waiting to be picked up. What do you think, Rusty? I miss it. <laughs> all right. He misses it. So here we are, this is the CNC room. You can see heads are getting lined up. There's something here working right now. Look at that. That's a Brodix head. So that the soft chamber in that head. It's amazing to watch that. I could stare at it all day. Oh, I could too. You just think about all the math going on all the time. Especially when you watch the flyback. And it's just coordinates that you push in, right? Program it. Just. Yeah. I'll say that lightheartedly. That's a three act. Here's a five act. That'll wow. all open the door for you to see it. Oh, yeah. We'll there. take a quick <laughs> bath. Look at that. That's a five axis CNC, cutting like crazy. Almost looks like an LS head in there. Oh. It is LS. LS, yeah. okay. That was a good pickup for a Ford guy. Well, they, they say there's, you know, LS had a bolt right on a Cleveland block. Well, so as they a say. Of fact, the, the guy that makes the SC2 head, yeah. he slightly redesigned it to put on an LS. Did he really? Yeah. Yeah, so we got it. We got it. So there's kind of like what you see that it's caught right now. It's amazing. This stuff you see on YouTube, but I'm seeing it in real life. I love it. There you go, guys. A quick tour of BS is great meeting Darren and Rusty. We'll have to get a live chat together. Looks like I'm headed in the right direction. Cleveland, one mile. Hey, here's a quick update. David Cook has the four Dominators. They are going to be killer when they're done. Can't wait. Stay tuned.